It's just what every student wants to hear as the summer begins. How about a summer reading assignment? Okay, now that the groans are getting out of the way, let's talk about that a little bit. Because at the Ocean County Library, there's a whole new spin on the idea of something that sounds like a chore, but is actually a reward, short-term and long-term. The project this summer is called Build a Better World. And one of the key organizers of it is our guest right now. Glynis Ray is the Youth Services Coordinator for the Ocean County Library, and she works here in the Tom's River Branch. It's a pleasure to have you here, and a pleasure to talk about child literacy. Thank you. Especially in this time when basically everybody's watching something or, or playing a game and not really cracking the books all that much. So let's start with the basics. It's a summer reading assignment, but there are rewards with this, aren't there? Yes, there are rewards. We want to encourage people to come to the library to any branch of the 21 locations we have for the Ocean County Library to be part of summer reading. It could be for children, teens, and adults. If they read five books, there's all kinds of prizes, both long-term, as you said, which I'll get into in a second, and short-term. On August 29th, we have, if they complete the program, we have baseball tickets for the Blue Claws. How many of those do you have to give away? Well, we have enough for everybody. Enough for everybody. <laughs> okay. How many um, do you usually, I think you've done summer programs before, what's your usual turnout for something like that? Last year we had over 5,000 children participate, so I'm trying to beat my numbers of over 5,000. Uh-huh. And... Um, That's can, just children. Can you tell us anything else about the prizes that are available at the end of the program? Yes, different locations have different prizes, but for the most part, everybody is eligible, children and teens, for the Blue Claws baseball ticket, which is on August 29th. There's also um, usually little snack prizes that could be from um, the, the restaurants, local restaurants, could be like an ice cream sundae or a free meal at, at, at um, different places, okay. restaurants. Very good. Now, um, is it in person only? Can this be done? electronically? Can it be on an ebook? Can, can it be done on a laptop? That's a great question because yes, we have, we want to encourage people to be reading magazines, reading books. We have all kinds of different databases that they can get into. So we have um, playaways, which are little devices that you can put pop in your pocket and you can be reading it on the beach. So you can read the actual words or you could listen to the playaway and listen to the audio. So it doesn't necessarily involve opening a book and looking at pages anymore. You could do it either you way you like. It. We right. can t custom tailor it to the child and to uh -huh. the teen and to the adult. Okay, now what ages are eligible to take part in this? Well, we have babies who are being read to as young as one. <laughs> and then they go all the way up to adults and we want the seniors to be part of it too. Tell us a little bit about the choices, the database, are they allowed, what, what is the framework in which children are allowed to choose the books that they're going to read? We want to encourage all people to read, so whether we don't say what they have to read, they can pick up any particular book or any particular media that they want to. Um, some of the schools mandate that they have to read something specific. But let's say that's they only have to read two of those specific things. They can supplement us with the three fun, leisurely activities and books that they want. Uh huh. Now, um, how do you know they read them? Well, it is on the honor system, but we have them put they have them put their information onto our computer, onto our website, and they generally write one sentence about it and sometimes I have to admit sometimes even the parents don't even put the sentence in because sometimes the parents log the information in for the children as long as they put the titles in if you're going to that much effort we assume that they've read it and even if they're sort of scamming us we kind of know that because they're gonna find if they, even if they choose like a sixth grader chooses a toddler book a picture book maybe they're when they're in there picking something like that they're seeing something else that are catch their eye so it really does work out in the long run. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit. We talk about the short-term incentives. Let's talk about the really long-term incentive, about building a better world, which is the theme of this. Um, 
T tell us what the goal of that is. Is that this sounds like total engagement? It is total engagement because what happens during the school year, their te the children are engaged with their teachers, but then the summertime comes and we can have summer slide and they can forget and lose some of the information that they've gained. So part of keeping reading along through the summer is that there's, they avoid the summer slide. And the summer slide is the teachers have to go back in September and reteach the last couple months of what happened in June, in September. So you're wasting a lot of precious teaching time. And it's cumulative. And so by the time they're in sixth grade, they can be two years behind everybody if they haven't done reading in the summertime because it's a matter of vocabulary and all the different words that people are hearing during the summer. So we want to engage them so that they can keep up their vocabulary. Do you kind of build the idea in the back of all of this for them that reading now has dividends for their entire lives? Of course, it totally pays dividends for the rest of their life because there's so many things that they can achieve after they have read and understand. Uh -huh. um, how does one enroll for this? Oh, that's easy. You can come into any location or you can do it at theoceancountylibrary.org and we actually have a new website right now that just launched yesterday, but it's still theoceancountylibrary, all spelled out, dot o-r-g and you go right on to Build a Better World, whether it's on the adult page, the children's page, or the teen page and you just log in, create a little uh, password. We usually pick something really high-tech like summer or 2017 or <laughs> something along those lines because we want them to be able to get back in and log in their books because as long as you log in five books or five magazines or five different media uh, playways you're eligible to win and you can keep going so let's say they read five they get a raffle ticket to d different branches do different things in Tom's River they get a raffle ticket and they can are eligible to win Legos they're eligible to win um, a Kindle there's different different things Thank you. Kids build a better world with the Ocean County Library. You can do that simply by reading a couple of books over the summer. It doesn't sound like a really tough climb. You can enter at any one of the 21 locations, right? Yes. Okay. Or you can do it online from home. At theoceancountylibrary.org. Correct. Okay. Glynis Ray is our guest, and she's the Youth Services Coordinator at the Ocean County Library. It's a real pleasure having you here. Thank you for including me. Well, thank you for launching the program. I hope we have a bunch of geniuses coming out of this. <laughs> we hope so, too. <laughs>